I dare a wild boar to come at me. Come at me, bro. No cell signal. I'm gonna strip down to my birthday suit. I think I just got naked and afraid out here. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I search high and low for good internet signal and get very lost in the wild boar infested Sedona woods. But it turned out all right in the end. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning, friends from Sedona, Arizona. I just filmed a morning routine video. If you missed it and you want to watch it, it is I don't know, back on my channel somewhere. It's clean up a bit getting ready for the day drinking some coffee there's a starbucks nearby and a planet fitness nearby so i want to see if i can get a pass to planet fitness and check out their gym i tried anytime fitness yesterday and it's not a big fan plus i've heard planet fitness is cheaper and there's location down here near sedona i think it's in cottonwood so gonna go check that out today and go edit at starbucks and then do some adventures tonight i totally forgot to bring water on my hike last night i was so thirsty definitely gonna bring some water today i got this pretty view happening birds are happy bumblebees are buzzing just stay out of my fucking van i love you from a distance let's go get this day started god damn it i have to stop my water fell i don't want it to drip all over my chakra i mean i don't think it would oh my foot i can't reach it oh and that thing fell um yeah it had water in it this thing kind of likes to be tucked back in the corner right here. Nobody puts baby in the corner. That's right, you stay there. Sorry. I have to entertain myself somehow. Oh, there's a truck coming. Sorry. Parked on the middle road, sorry. New, new at this. I suck at van life. I suck at it. But we're having fun. There's a lot of highs and lows of van life, but I'm like at a consistent happy. I don't know if I've felt that way in my life a whole lot, except for the last maybe five years. I think the journal writing, we're gonna talk when we get onto Flatland, okay? You can have the shittiest experience, but take it in stride and I just, I'm happy no matter what happens. That's pretty slay. That's pretty slay. You guys should totally meditate and exercise and journal right. Just saying. But I'm someone who has struggled with depression. I left home at 19 and had a really, really rough time. Had a really rough go. And that's why I share these videos because I was once a very unhappy person and I grew up in a situation where my mom had extreme bouts of depression and I kind of was her mom in a way and we've talked about this before but I really have a passion for helping people and especially women find that consistent happy and I had to find it myself. Even through all that crazy shit, like feeling awful and like the lowest of lows, I still have a general consistent happy because I do my morning routine, I take care of myself, I get in a good mindset every day and it's really important to like keep up on those things. Anyway, there have been so many ups and downs through this experience so far, but it's not the living in a van and traveling that's making me happy, like I'm happy regardless. And then all the great things that happen are just like icing on the cake, butter on the bread, and then all the shitty things that happen, at least I find humor in them. And yeah, they suck in the moment, but you can find humor in pretty much anything, so. That's the attitude we're trying to go into life with today. So we are heading into Cottonwood. We're gonna find Starbucks and um, get our early morning jitters on and edit and upload. Starbucks is right next to a Home Depot. Does that mean we're getting our lash fix today? Oh shit, it's drive through only. What the hell, Arizona? That's stupid. That's real dumb. Well, we're here at a Home Depot. Except for I have $5.67 in my bank account. <laughs> Um, okay, let's find a new coffee shop. Well, this place is just adorable. Fire Creek Coffee Company. Got some yuccas. Got some, I forget what they're called. Bougainvillea. How cute is this? Lovely. Thank you, Starbucks, for not being open. This is way better. Just stepping away from my computer for a little break. This place is so cute, though. I really, really recommend it. I guess it's the only place here that you can go in and sit. We're in Cottonwood, Arizona. Just out, get a little sunshine. And taking an eyeball break from the computer. Oh, I see a friend. Hi, friend. Video's edited. 
The upload is taking forever, so I'm actually, I'm gonna go do my nails in the van. It's been about 20 minutes, oh, two hours and 56 minutes left. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll see if there's a McDonald's around here and go upload there instead. That's a bit, it's a bit much. All right, let's go find that McDonald's. We're still getting into our Sedona routine. Moab was tricky at first, and then once I found consistent internet, life was so much easier. So I got in last night, still trying to figure out this place, but I really like the Fire Creek Coffee Company. So I'll probably come here to edit because it's a nice little office area. And it had good internet speed, just not good uploading speed. So. Oh, I'm obsessed with chops. It. Burt's Bees Dragon Fruit Lemon. I have like a different scented chapstick for different times of day. Start off with the honey, then we graduate to dragon fruit. And then if I'm kissing any boys, it's like definitely vanilla. And vanilla is at the bottom of my makeup bag right now. Hashtag solo female van life. All right, we're gonna see how well we do here in the parking lot at McDonald's. We're uploading. It hasn't given me an estimated time yet, so we'll give it a few. This one though, McDonald's always kicks me off the Wi-Fi and then I have to reconnect. I don't know why. Maybe I'm too far from the router. Maybe we'll go inside. But yeah, this day was a crazy day. The wind blew open my skylight and then it like rained all inside my van. Oh, it was fun time. Totally forgot about that until today when I edited that. I think I blocked it from my mind. All right, we might have to go into McDonald's. Oh, 14% uploaded. All right, well, we'll sit here for a little bit and see. I'm gonna go put my nails on and then we'll see where we're at. Ugh, McDonald's internet I am not impressed it always kicks me off are we are we though I'll just do my nails up here and keep an eye on this baby because it's gonna keep kicking me off I'm sure I think I'm parked in the mobile order area yes I am we're just gonna scooch along over here if it keeps disconnecting I might go inside I don't really like the McDonald's vibe though who wants to sit in McDonald's and edit not I well now this is saying two hours and 43 minutes I don't know, maybe we're just hanging out at McDonald's today. Typically though, sorry, sunflower seeds in my cheeks. I'm a little chipmunk. Typically with uploads though, it'll tell you like an hour left and then it's only really 30 minutes. So like in the last minute, it went from two hours and 45 minutes to two hours and 25 minutes. So we should be good. Nails are done. We're at 92%. I'm looking for a good hike to go on tonight. But first of all, I want to say thank you to a few of my patrons. Courtney Stafford sponsored my Java walk this morning. Thank you, Courtney. And Rob Killian signed up for monthly music. I actually went to middle school with Rob. Hey dude, what's up? Next year is my 20 year reunion for high school. What is up with that? What's up with that? That's crazy. But thanks Rob, thanks for the support. If you like these videos and you wanna support me and my channel, there's a link down in the description. My ultimate goal is to make enough on AdSense where I don't need any patrons. But for now, you guys are helping me along in this journey, so thank you so much. All right, where to hike? Ooh, we're on 30%. We are running out of battery. Okay, five minutes left. So it went from two hours and 45 minutes and I've been here about 40, so. McDonald's may be our new upload place. I wish I could just leave my computer somewhere and go hike and then come back. I don't know, how do we do that? Get a, like a lockbox? This whole finding internet every day thing is something that's annoying every day. Need to figure out a new system. It's all good, we're here, we're happy, we're getting stuff done. All right, before we take off, I'm gonna toss all my trash, go take a wee. I suppose I should throw in my pee cups from this morning. <laughs> Why do I feel like they just belong in a McDonald's garbage? This was holding my clothes the other day, but it, uh, it decided it was time to die. So I kind of have a rule of thumb. If I park at a Cracker Barrel parking lot or use internet at a place, I'm going to buy something from that place. But literally, McDonald's, there's nothing, literally nothing that I'm going to buy from McDonald's. I'm 37 years old. I cannot McDonald's anymore. I mean, I could, but I'd rather hike tonight than take a nap, so. Do they have salads? Even their salads are gross. I don't know, I can't. We are not going to McDonald's. Thank you for the internet. Just having a real fancy dinner before I head out for a hike. I'm dipping some deli slices into this garlic sauce. It is delicious and creamy. I'm gonna have some applesauce and then some dates and blueberries. I'm gonna bring this on the hike and then I have oatmeal for dinner. I'm just fancy like that. We 
made it. We're hiking Boynton Canyon today. I think that's how you say it. It's a little bit shorter of a hike than yesterday, which I'm totally okay with. And this time I have a bunch of water I'm going to bring with me, I have some snacks. I'm gonna bring my big backpack, but I'm still gonna dress cute because there is a really cute Instagram shot at the top. So that's what we're doing. Let's go hiking. I'm gonna go ahead and double knot these guys so we don't have another accident like Bryce Canyon. I'm gonna tuck them in, do a little nip tuck. I'm gonna bring my little flashlight that Ashley and Beck gave me yesterday. I made some friends on the trail and they took pity on me because I was hiking in my sandals. Ooh, Christ. I dropped my wax melt. Yeah, they took pity on me because I was hiking in sandals and they're worried about me because I didn't have a flashlight. I always just use my iPhone, but it was nice to have an actual flashlight. Everything's so difficult in the van. Just stay. <sighs> Okay. I almost prefer to hike in my sandals though, cause if I hike too long in these, it looks like I put my feet in a cheese grater. It's not cute, but this is a shorter hike, so we should be good. At least I think it is. I looked up like 17 hikes yesterday and I forget exactly the mileage on this one. Be good. I mean, it's already pretty. I just like being outside. It's all good vibes. It's like, who needs antidepressants? We can just get out here. Two seconds longer in that restroom, I'd probably have pink eye. Some steamy hot poo in there. Anyways, here we are in Sedona. A fed bear is a dead bear. There's totally a sign back there that said, beware of bears. If you see them, do not run. Fight back, verbatim, that's what they said. So I'm just gonna talk to my camera really loud because you don't want to startle a bear and you don't want them to think you're alone. So, how are there bears out here? It's like 100 degrees. Maybe I'll like slow down and wait for those people behind me. So, it feels like we're in a big group. Whoa, check out these things. I like the hairdo. Cute. Okay, there's people like right behind me. I feel better now. This is probably a hike I would not like to do during twilight just because of the bear. The bear thing. This guy is handing out hearts full of secret positive energy. I thought he was gonna ask for like Venmo, but he did not, so. I feel a Celine Dion song coming on. Let the heart go on. That's cute. I think that guy's just walking around trying to spread a little positivity. I was 100% sure he was gonna ask for money though. And he didn't. He gave two to those guys. Two to the people behind us. I'll just let them go ahead. Get eaten by the bear first. Hello, gorgeous. It's complicated. I'm literally just singing to myself so the bear doesn't eat me. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was a bear. It was a wild Pomerina bear. I feel kind of bad being so skeptical of that guy. It's really sweet if you're just handing these out for good vibes. Speaking of good vibes, is that an agave? Thanks, Aunt and Debbie, for that wealth of knowledge. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. I'm almost liking this hike better than the one last night, than the Devil's Bridge hike, because it's a little more shady. Yeah, I'm some shady if I'm the real shady. What I love about Sedona so far is it's a good blend of like greenery and the red rock. walking on someone's landscaping right now. Sorry, Gary. My bad, I thought this was the trail. It is very pretty. Whew. Back there, there was a sign. It looked like there were two ways to get up there. Oh yeah, I found that cute little couple. Let's stay with them. Do you know how long the hike is? The subway? Like yeah. Jump? From here, probably maybe. 20, 30 minutes. Okay. So maybe perfect. more, maybe more. And you hike back down the same way, right? It's yeah. the same way this is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take pictures for you up there if I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we should get there when the sun is starting to set-ish. Now I feel so all alone again. I love how shaded it is though. Look how fun this is. Doing a little scrambling, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I like it. This is my favorite Sedona hike so far out of the two I've gone on. It's a little more steep than the other one, except for the very end. The very end of Devil's Bridge, straight incline. Did I say Devil's Garden earlier? That's in Moab. Yeah, Devil's Bridge. Look at this, this is so fun. Got some wildflowers popping, although they're kind of sad. They're there. They thirsty. Oh, look how cool this is. Dude, this is rad, bra. Favorite hike so far. You guys gonna go in the hole? What'd you see? Anything cool? Oh, I needed this. Is this a 
my happy place. How can you not be happy staring up at that? Oh, van life. Every pain in the ass that you've been to me. All the water you spilled into my car. All the cameras and decorations you've broken. This makes it worth it. So we were just on the rock. Now we're playing in the sand. I love being in the trees. And I love the red rock. It's the perfect combination. 10 out of 10. <gasps> Wildflowers, straight ahead, sir. Check for snakes before we stick our hand in there. Who is she? Hello, gorgeous. Now I wanna get a Sedona wildflower book. Yup, it's starting to feel like there are cheese graters inserted into my shoes. Having crooked feet is so fun. Hello. How was it? Very Great. nice. Good. Hello. How you doing? Doing? Good. So as a kid, I was like painfully shy. And even through college, I had some pretty bad social anxiety. Waiting tables definitely helped get over that. But just saying hi to people and asking questions helped me get over that. Cause like, if you're self-conscious, you're being a little selfish. I know that sounds weird, but most people don't care about you. They're too worried about their own stuff. Just like to say hi to people, see how their day's going. And it breaks the ice and some people think you're weird, but little do they know how freaking weird I am. They don't even know the extent of the weirdness. They don't even know. Magic. Been alone for about 15 minutes now. So we are gonna put our hips into it and try and catch up with some people. Hiking alone is something I've always been afraid to do. And that's kind of a fear that I'm conquering this trip. There's so many things I wanna do and I keep waiting for the right person, the right timing. I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. I'm literally just singing, like nervous singing. I don't really even know what I'm afraid of. Nothing really, besides bears. I'm not really afraid, just my comfort level is nudged a little toward fight or flight, just a little bit. Here's like, Netflix and chilling at home on your couch. It's way over here. Here's a bear attack over here. I'm like just, just left of center. So pretty though. It's like you have your own little secret garden. Like when I'm hiking with someone, I can just kind of relax and enjoy and take it all in and appreciate the beauty. When I'm hiking alone. I think my, just my senses are a little more keen and aware, which I think is good. Like looking for snakes and bear, that kind of thing. Okay. I'm gonna just put the camera away and enjoy. Catch you at the top. Unless I see a bear, I'll definitely show you a bear if I see a bear. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, this is more like secret garden. Now I'm afraid to hike any other hike up here because feel like this is gonna be my favorite. Okay, do we go that way or do we go that way? I feel like that's a creek sometimes. So we're gonna go this way. Okay, hiking dreams are coming true. I see wildflowers. Ooh, you cute. Look at your little hair do. Wow, what are those? Okay, I have to get a wildflower book. boss was making those sounds so you don't like startle bears and stuff. I'm really hoping I went the right way because I'm walking really fast and I've not seen anybody yet. We're getting a little closer to what looks like red rocks. Peekaboo rock up there. Hello your majesty. Hello you're getting close. Hashtag goals. Maybe that's how I need to catch up. Well, let's run to the top. Imagine this being in your backyard. There are so many houses back there. Just come do this every night after dinner. I could get used to that. On some overlook hikes, you just like can't wait to get to the end. But this is so pretty all the way through. Highly suggest. Haven't even seen the overlook yet. Probably because we're going the wrong way. Well, if you're gonna get lost somewhere, might as well get lost here in beautiful Sedona. I'm like singing a song because I'm a little nervous. The only one I could think of. Oh, shit. Sorry, I have nature ADD. That's pretty. But the only song I could think of singing is my hump, my hump, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. It's a good pace, you know? Another good one is staying alive, staying alive. Ah, ah. Okay, that's very fitting for the bear talk. Oh my gosh. Well, if we did go the wrong way, we'll just turn around and go back. I'm like trying to be careful not to brush my legs against any leaves. I thought I saw poison ivy back there, or poison oak. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if they have that out here, but leaves of three, let it be. I kind of feel like I'm going the wrong way because I feel like I would at least see them or would have caught up to them. No cell signal. I feel like it's gotta be up here. There are no trail markers at all. So, I don't know. It's been like 20 minutes. I've only seen one person running that direction. He looked more like a local. Hi, pretty. Something isn't obvious 
pretty soon. I'm gonna turn around. Because they said it was about 20 to 30 minutes. It's been about that. Woohoo! So yeah, at first I was like, why would there be bears up here? It's just red rock, right? Oh, wrong I was. Very wrong I was. Well, whatever's up here has got to be pretty dang beautiful, right? I'm gonna strip down to my birthday suit. I think you just got naked and afraid out here. Hello? Anybody? Well, at least it's shaded. Feels really, really good at least. Huh? What? Which way? Which way? Dead end. I guess this is the trail, right? Anybody? Come on. Okay, I see someone. Yes. I hear laughter. What a sweet, sweet sound. Do you guys know where the subway is? Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's quite a ways back. Now. I know, I think I, I missed a turn or something. Um, oh, yeah. So there's like a giant juniper tree that you'll see when you come up to the turn and there's also like kind of an open clearing area, but it looks like it's blocked off by a tree that's laying in the way. Okay. It says subway trail right oh, on the cool. tree. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, it it's is. like written in Sharpie. Oh, <laughs> it is? Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I was like, well, we're at whatever way I'm hiking, it's going to be beautiful. So yeah. I'm going to keep yeah, going, yeah. but. Honestly, this is more This is insane. Yeah, it's really nice. Mind if I chill here for yeah, it's fine. I was good till about right in there. I'm like, I definitely went the wrong way. So I'm like, <laughs> so definitely went the wrong direction. But I never would have known this was here had I not taken a wrong turn. I was probably vlogging because they're like, yeah, there was a sign on the tree. <laughs> but this is really. a little snack before I head back down. So I'm gonna set pretty soon, but how long did it take you guys to get up here, you think? Was it like an hour, maybe? About, huh? So I was thinking I should probably do the subway hike with Kyle. So I think this was just life being like, yeah, you should probably wait for him to do the subway hike. You're gonna go to this other beautiful place today. I meet some cool people. Maybe you guys can show me where that tree is. Yeah, uh, we're gonna pass right okay. <laughs> I hope I was vlogging and it's like right in the background. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Ari here was saying they have wild boar. And she was like chased by a wild boar last time she did this hike. <laughs> when you did the subway, right? Yeah, when I went to subway. Oh my back gosh, back. that's so. freaky. <laughs> yeah, we just heard it screaming when we look over and we see its eyes. Really? Now we just start hearing the hymns go. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, we're leaving now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not about that. I'm gonna just. Like, I'm gonna carry a big rock or something. <laughs> that's exactly what we did. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, we're just like. Okay, just rock, just pop it that way and it won't go away. <laughs> yeah. Did you run into that guy carrying heart stones oh, and no, handing them out? I ran into him the first time I came. Did you um, get one? Yeah. Did he like ask for money? I thought he was gonna ask for money or no, something. No, his name is Robert. He goes up to Cathedral Rock every single day to play his flute and meditate. Oh. And when he comes down, he gives people heart rocks and sometimes he takes people at the trail with me. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I felt bad because I was so skeptical. I'm like, he's oh. gonna he's gonna tell me his Venmo now. Oh, but no. very nice guy. Yeah. I saw him and I was like immediately like like just like gravitated to him. I just felt like I had to say hi. Oh. He did was like, here you go, and I'm like, thank you. That's <laughs> nice. Well, we all have heart rocks we can throw at the crazy wild pigs we need to. So I remembered that flower. I was like, there's the flower! We're going the right way! I, I took a picture of him in this tree and he set his bag down right here and I think like a bunny or something Oh really? started popping off. Oh. Oh, that is a cool tree. I'm low-key carrying a rock right now, just in case. <laughs> there's a branch. Oh, a, oh, a, a twig. There's a twig yeah. that says subway. What? Yeah, so you keep going back How are you way. supposed to know that? Okay, yeah, well. Yeah, and this tree right here is through the juniper. Yeah, people will tell you okay. that um, there's a difference in the trail. You'll smell the juniper here, but not oh. there. Okay, but literally, this is what I was supposed to be looking for? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I wonder I, how I could have missed that. I don't even know what we're doing. What? We stopped. Um, we stopped right here because another one of our hiking buddies was like, hey, do you know where to go? And He's like, I think this is the way. They said it's a fallen tree, and you turn and you oh. saw that. Oh, I legit think I was <laughs> vlogging like this, just like going up there. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I bet I was. I'm, find yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's like written with a sharpie. Yeah. And an asterisk. What the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's bullshit. I mean, I don't feel bad for missing it now. I thought I like totally just missed a huge sign or something. Just the fallen tree. Wait, how close is Subway? Is it worth going now or no? I wouldn't go now. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be too dark. dark. Yeah, so I'm gonna calm down. And okay. Earlier today, I was like, I have to go with Kyle, but I'll just go anyways. So it's gonna work out perfect. Oh, I love these. I know, I was looking at these and like little sea urchins or something. They're really pretty. Yeah, go look at them. Take a second. They're like stringy. I'll watch out for the wild boar. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? Something out of Avatar. <laughs> right? Wait, why am I in the front? I'm gonna get us lost. <laughs> I dare a wild boar to come at me. Come at me, bro. Look at that rock. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting hungry for dinner. <laughs> She's prepared. Look for the tree with the sharpie. Okay, wait, can I get a picture of you two right here? To see a deer? Do I see those a lot? Hi, dude. So I'm like, you guys interested in that? My dad messaged me. He goes, where are you? I don't answer. Look how goes, skinny oh, legs cool. are. You'd be mad at me. Hi, yeah. buddy. Oh, you're so pretty. So oh, pretty. I just realized I'm still carrying this rock. We're like almost done with this hike. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so apparently right where I threw the rock away is where they got chased by a wild boar the other night. She's like, I don't want to say anything, but <laughs> like, I will bottle smack any pig that comes up to me. Dangerous. I've seen naked and afraid. <laughs> so nice meeting you guys. Thanks for letting me tag along and Definitely. not walk alone by myself. Not let you get attacked by a wild boar. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure they're the reason I did not get attacked by a wild boar. Awesome. We'll <laughs> Thanks, you. guys. Good meeting you. you too. See ya. I highly recommend getting lost in Sedona. It's a beautiful place to get lost. That hike was so gorgeous. I can't believe how small the little subway sign was. I mean, I kind of like that they're trying to keep it under wraps so it doesn't get like too overpopulated, but wild boars? That's crazy. I mean, if you want a hike with no people around with an amazing view at the end, take that trail and don't go to subway so i think i'm starting a new post hike tradition and that is i'm gonna crack open a nice ice cold kombucha coconut lime oh it's gonna be so good oh shit that's fresh look it's so amazing like different times of day it just completely changes color all right i gotta snap a photo this is my like a virgin photo looks like madonna's boobies <laughs> Okay. I'm allowed like one teenage boy humor or joke per video. And that was it. That was the one. I am starving. That was a lot of activity for one day. I'm thinking Taco Bell or maybe Panda Express. What shall it be? I don't know, but the post hike booch is like a new thing that needs to happen always. I need a redo on the subway hike, but that hike was so beautiful. I almost preferred it because there were no people around, but also freaked me out because there were no people around and so happy I did not run into a wild boar because that would have freaked me out. We did not see a boar or a bear, but we did see that little deer. What a good day. I can go do that after my work day. I basically live in Sedona right now. Like, what about it? We're gonna go grab dinner and go home. I'm gonna go back to that parking spot from last night. I felt really comfortable there. I know exactly where it is. I could really, really use a shower though. So I'm gonna look into the gyms around here. I think there's a Planet Fitness, but they are already, they're already closed for the night. So we're gonna baby wipe shower the bod. Not too excited about it. And then we'll go check out Planet Fitness tomorrow. Once I find my internet, know where I'm sleeping and know where I'm gonna shower and shit. Then I'm a happy person. <laughs> Going to coffee shops has helped a lot because they always have internet there so i think we're getting the hang of this van life thing what a day what a day i only lost one nail super proud of myself that's how you know it's a good day you got a peacock just sitting here waiting for you just in case i promise there will be a day that i will stop talking about that subject okay. i got panda express for dinner but hear me out teriyaki chicken white rice they didn't have brown rice and then just the steamed veg a little teriyaki sauce on top pretty freaking healthy i mean the chicken is probably the best chicken chicken in the whole wide world. All about making healthy choices. Damn, it's hot in here. I think it got up to 100. It was supposed to be a high of 87 tomorrow, 86 the day after. I'm very excited about this dinner. It's almost 10 o'clock. Like, eating this late is not my favorite thing. We had a nice, long, fulfilling day, and I'm starving. Got a ton of steps in. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want you to post a panda emoji if that exists, or just write panda in the comments. It's a Panda Express kind of night. I have the weirdest thing. I can't hear out of this ear. It's like when you get on the airplane, I think just because of the elevation. 
kind of hear out of this one can't hear out of this one at all you guys have any fixes for that you're gonna be watching this video two weeks after this actually happens so it probably won't be that helpful but thank you anyway maybe it'll help someone else who knows anyway that is it for today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you loved it share it with your friends see you tomorrow